There she is, our new addition. Um, we called her Gypsy, that was Jimmy's name for her. She's gorgeous. She has had an operation and been spayed, uh, so I don't want to pick her up too much and she's not really comfortable with being picked up too much at the moment anyway, but she is very affectionate and she'll come and she'll like sit on our laps and purr and she's very good. She's been going in the litter tray, no accidents at all. She's so tiny, I thought she'd be bigger, but she's 12 weeks and uh, she's just been really, really fun. She has been really fun. She's very playful. Uh, but yeah, so that's her. And I've been trying to um, get all my stuff done and kind of uh, at the same time babysit her. And it's been funny because I've been like kneeling on the ground and scalping out all these different uh, parts of the puppets. And she's been trying to play with them. So sometimes I'm like, ah, that's my dragon's head. Leave it alone. Uh, but she's she's really, really um, fun. And we're really glad. And Jimmy is like besotted. So that's great because it was a kind of an early Christmas present from me to Jimmy. Um, and he's absolutely in love. So it's perfect. It's perfect. He's very happy. Uh, so that's great. Right. So what I've done, what I've been working on uh, today and a bit of yesterday um, was, let's see if I can show you with this camera. Okay. There he is. Look at that. Look at that baby. Um, that's the template. Um, I made sure that I kept a template that I drew out. And then this is the dude that I want to be my dragon. Now he may or may not be a bit too big. I was a bit um, over enthusiastic with the size, I think, because I thought I want a big dragon, but he might be too big, um, but we'll see. I'll have to see about that. Here is some, uh, some more templates of the head. I got two of the head because I think out of everything on the dragon, I think I would like the neck and the head to move. I was gonna do I was going to do the tail as well, but there'll be too much stuff going on. So I think I'm just going to leave the tail, even though I did um, cut out another tail. And I'm just going to work on the head and neck kind of moving. But actually, this black card is too... Because it's so big, see? It's too floppy. So I'm going to have to... Um, it took me ages to bloody cut out all these bits and pieces. But I'm going to have to um, get them onto a hard piece of box cardboard or something and cut them out because uh, it's too floppy but I'm really happy with the um, the dragon heads and everything I'm really happy with that uh, the spider webs are coming along I cut out the middle of that one so I'm going to put that in and this is cool it's going to double up as uh, a sun a black sun um yes I will I do not uh it's not <laughs> a Nazi symbol, believe me, uh, but it will work as like um, some kind of a sunshine scene, I don't know. And then what I also did was, let's see if I can show you here um, by moving a few of these things. I did a, a mini clock that's to go up in one of the scenes and um, I also did the clock that I was telling you about. And these are all the other scenes that I've been doing. And I, um, it was, let's see, there's the, it was really, it was really frustrating because um, I did the scenes and I like just put sellotape all around the edges and the sellotape, of course, I, I should have known this, but I just didn't think uh, the sellotape wouldn't stick to greaseproof paper. So I was like, ah, um, and then I got an idea. I just stapled it. So like they're all stapled all, all the way around. So that was really good. Um, I'm getting there. I'm getting quite a lot done. Uh, I've been working. I mean, it's Saturday. It's Saturday. So slept in and uh, played with the kitten for a while and stuff like that. Um, but I did get a lot done today. I got the dragon done. I think um, for the it's like three o'clock. I think for another couple of hours, I'll go at it and I'll get the spider web seam done and I will start working out how to attach. Oh, well, I'll definitely cut out a couple of dragon heads and put them onto cardboard and then just start experimenting with the joints and see 
how I can get his head to kind of move and like he's going to attack you or something. That's probably what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. So it's coming together. Um, I really hope that, yeah, I will. I'll get it done. I'll get it done. Um, what else? Oh, because I've been leaning over, hunched over and cutting all this stuff out and uh, drawing things and trying to stick things, um, because all that's been happening, I, I've been hunched over a lot. And because of the restrictions, the Pilates studio that I usually go to is closed. Big shout out to Flex in the City in Penrose Wharf. I love Flex in the City and they're shut now. I can't go. Um, the two main... Um, Juliet, Juliet Jones, is it? Juliet, uh, it's her place. Um, she's a phenomenal Pilates instructor, but I would usually see, depending on my schedule, whatever, Juliet and Andrew, and they're both like ridiculously amazing um, Pilates instructors. I do reformer Pilates, that's the, the big machine. Uh, I do it for um, the doctor, told me years ago that I, ha I should pretty much do Pilates for the rest of my life because I've got hypermobility, which um, is taking its toll on my joints and everything. Uh, it just means that I'm super bendy. I'm just um, super, super flexible. But because I'm super flexible, uh, my joints and, and my back, my lower back and stuff like suffer, uh, especially as you get older. So I do Pilates at least once a week um, down at Flex in the City. I love the name. It's a good name, Flex in the City in Penrose Wharf. And I would see either Juliet or Andrew and they are both impressively, impressively, that's not even a word, impressively fit people. Like you just look at them and, and, and it's just like, pfft. uh, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Cause you obviously know what you're doing, <laughs> uh, but I'm missing that. And so it's, like they're doing online classes and they're doing live classes, but but uh, for a fiver and you can go and do the live Zoom class or you can pay a fiver and do it like you get it for 24 hours, the recording. So I'm going to do that maybe tomorrow and just keep it up that way because, um, yeah, I, I have to. I, I feel sore, especially being hunched over all the, the stuff, doing all the cutting out and stuff. Um it's just making me feel kind of sore and they're, they're great. They're great at what they do. So I'll probably do a couple of classes from them a week and maybe do a YouTube Pilates video. And that'll, that might keep me, uh, keep me okay. Cause you got to think about these things, don't you? So, uh, Jimmy's upstairs doing something, making, he got, um, a new modular synth. So he's setting that up and he's going to be down. I made, pizza dough. I made wholemeal spelt pizza dough this morning. So we're going to have pizza later on. So he's excited about that because Jimmy loves pizza. And um, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm feeling good enough today. It's a really pretty day. The sun is out and everything. Uh, I don't know. Right. I don't know if this will show up on camera. Oh, it will. Look, I've got crystals hanging everywhere so that I get rainbows everywhere all over the place uh which is also making me um happy looking at the rainbows while i'm, I'm doing all my stuff and uh, i'm trying to keep my mental health okay um yeah just madly madly creating stuff so i'll leave it there today and i will be back tomorrow where hopefully i will have the spider web scene done yeah the spider web scene done, the clock stuff figured out, maybe even the teardrop, the teardrops? No, the raindrops. Maybe even the raindrops will be up on their plastic thing. Um, it's great to be able to check in every day. It holds me accountable for, if I say I'm going to do something, then, um, and it's recorded and I've told people that I'm going to do something, then I tend to do it. Do you know what I mean? So, so it's, it's great. It's great. I hope everybody is okay out there and um, I will see you tomorrow. Let's see if I can, where's she gone? I'll see if I can get one more shot of her because she's too cute. There she is. You're a bit camera shy. A bit camera shy. I'll play with you now, will I?
she's got like all these toys and feathers and stuff. She likes this kind of weird feather on a stick thing. She plays with that for hours. But uh, okay, bye.